Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the Pretty Normal Me vlog. Um, I'm Em Clarkson, and I'm exhausted. Um, and I look exhausted, and I'm so tired, and I've just got home to my house, and it's disgusting. Um, it's really, no, that's not fair, I have a lovely house. But it's really early Monday morning, and I'm about to go on holiday, which is so exciting, um, to Mallorca. Yeah, basically, I'm in a rush, and, um, I'm not ready for my holiday and I kind of want to talk about not being ready for my holiday because no one ever says that. All anyone says about holidays is like, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm going on holiday. Like, look how pretty I am on Instagram, like my suitcase and my shoes and my travel bag and my passport and my boarding card. And I'm like, who even has a boarding card anymore? We do it all online. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about like not being ready for my holiday in the literal sense of um, I'm not packed yet and I've got to leave in two hours. Um, but also like the... Um, head sense, like the mental sense of, okay, I've been in a rush, so I haven't been on a diet, which is a bloody nightmare, and everyone everywhere is like, are you beach body ready? I'm like, fuck no, um, which is really annoying. I haven't painted my nails, I haven't done any body hair removal, I certainly haven't had my roots done, I haven't had my brows done, I just, I don't feel ready for the world, and that's really annoying, because this is my holiday, I'm supposed to be excited for it, and society's ruined everything. Um, so I kind of just wanted like, to bring you all through my morning um, of packing in a rush, what I've got with me, um, why I'm taking it, and um, yeah, and getting excited for the holiday. It is time to paint my face. First I'm gonna put the music on. Put the music on. it's probably as good as it's gonna get and and it gonna get not gonna get any better the thing is I don't know why I bother basically I look really good for the duration of being in my house on my own and then I get out and everyone looks at me like uh oh someone over slept I'm like no I didn't I've been up for hours having said that time is ticking away from me so yeah I'm gonna need some more coffees and then we're gonna get packing it's story time kids <laughs> a little list I've written a book about all the stuff I need to take on holiday with me um, basically so um, I've got all my things piled up next to me and I've got all my things written in the book of what I need except that will not correlate with this <sighs> help me Send help, I'm so overwhelmed by my situation. There's so much to pack. Uh, so I've got bottom-wise, I've got denim skirt, these super fabulous trousers that Alex got me. This skirt from Zara, which definitely needs an iron, but I don't know how to iron, so I'm not gonna do it. Denim shorts and a black bodycon skirt, which is way too many things, but I don't care. Here are my sort of, oh, that's in the wrong pile. Daytime top, so cute little crop tops. Uh, that bottom one's Zara, this is top shop, just a basic range. Don't know where you're from, uh, but basically all the little Topshop t-shirts, which are super duper useful vests. Here, I've got daytime dresses for the beach. So that is a sarong, and these are all little, that's way too many, but I love wearing just like, you know, throws over the top of your bikini, because um, that's super duper useful. There's all my underwear, don't need to show you that. Um, shoes, I've got my sandals, which I love. These are from Office, but I got them in the Topshop bit in Westfield. Uh, don't know where they're from, but they're super duper practical. And over there are the best shoes in the whole world, those silver ones, which are too hot, but definitely cool to travel in. Uh, here's some exercise stuff, not because I plan on exercising, but because there is, to all, apparently, a tennis court. Uh, bikinis, en masse, none of them fit me because my boobs have shrunk like you wouldn't believe. Um, 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 we got evening tops here. Uh, again, way too many, but I think you know, good to have options. And let's see how big the suitcase is. Um, I reckon we've got what one? That's the new top one that Alex actually got me for my birthday. That silver one, which is really cool. 
uh, another black one, orange, two, Alex with this white one as well. He's so good at buying me things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's way too many because I'm only there for six nights. And then dresses. I've got this. I love, I might actually travel in this if it gets any hotter. This black one on the bottom, which is really, really cool. Uh, this is again Top Shop. And then these two I got from an amazing little shop on the beach in um, on my last holiday. But they are just so soft and silky and light and lovely and they're so not me in any capacity but for some reason I just absolutely love them and then hair dryer, bit of jewellery you're in the wrong section, bit of jewellery beach bag which is filthy, it's still full of sand from the last place I went um, and that's all I've got and then I know I need to go and get like really boring stuff like adapters and chargers and passports and oh my god look at the sweat situation <laughs> it's so hot um but yeah basically I'm gonna get packing I'm gonna see what I can fit in a suitcase it's not gonna be this is ridiculous does anyone else have this problem like just I panic <laughs> I'm so British and I'm so bad at actually, so I know I'm really bad at playing with my hair, but I'm just, I'm so hot. Um, I am really bad at vlogging because I do get awkward, but I realise like that I want, if I can, to touch while I'm doing this, like, you know, because I'm so lucky to have so many of you following me and it's like, and I love what I write about, but there's so much I feel really passionate about that I just want to like, bleh, I just want to say it. And this is what's been driving me up the friggin' wall recently, it's this like beach body radius, and I know we say this every summer, but... It's like particularly got to me this summer. So I started getting a bit like despairy, a bit like miserable about my body. And then I got in a panic about this holiday coming up. And every, you know, I'm talking to my friends who are like, oh yeah, I'm going away in October. So I started my diet. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, I'm going away on Monday and I'm eating a whole casserole to myself. Um, and it just got really, it's just really got me down recently. And it's annoyed me immensely that everyone's made me feel that, like, and like, by everyone, I mean the fucking society, the world. It's made me feel like I've got to be nervous about a holiday. Like, the holiday is the one thing that we're not... So, I'm sorry, I'm really sweaty. But the holiday is the one thing we're not supposed to be nervous about. Like, I'm supposed to be really looking forward to this. I'm going on holiday with my family. And I'm instead getting, like, self-conscious because I am like feel like Play-Doh, like, rolling around, like, wom, 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 wom. And it's not... And, you know, like, I was talking to my mum about this yesterday. And she's like, oh, shut up. And it's not... I'm not saying I'm fat, like obviously I'm not, and that's a horrible word to describe yourself as anyway, but what I feel right now is not entirely happy, and because I'm not conforming to some stupid fucking, you know, all I see on Instagram is it's like, look, look at my abs while I stand on the beach, and I'm like, for fuck's sake, like, even if I had all that abs, when I stand on the beach, I look ridiculous, I get sand everywhere like I find sand in my eyebrows for so long when I come home I've got the curliest hair and it's not like sexy beach waves either it's like full-blown psycho bob on the beach like down and you know you get bloated and you're hot you're dehydrated so you get a bit of a tummy and there's so much pressure to look fabulous on the beach and then it's one thing when I go and I because normally I like to go and this is so not pretty normal me but it's so fucking Zen Clarkson, like, I want to go and I want to go and get, like, my legs waxed or epilated or, you know, get my bikini line done, I want to get my brows done, I like having a manicure, like, I just, and I like having my roots done because I already feel like there is a lot of pressure on your holiday to look and feel fabulous and, like, now, I've obviously just landed last night, I've been so busy and I haven't done my brows and I haven't just done all the general maintenance that I'm used to doing, like, my nails are disgusting, all broken, all the bit shit um and i'm yeah basically i just like i'm not i'm, I'm literally the furthest thing from beach body ready ever and i'm pissed off that i feel that i'm worried about my holiday and i'm pissed off that i'm feeling self-conscious because that's not the way holidays are supposed to be um so i basically kind of just wanted to like i wanted to just have that rant and let you know that if you're also feeling like that it, it is normal that if you're feeling apprehensive about your holiday and you're feeling nervous about the concept of getting in a swimming costume that is totally normal um it's not okay that you feel like that but that's not your fault it's 
everyone, it's the fucking world that we need to do something about. Basically, um, if you're going away, I just want you to know that you're not on your own with the fuck, I'm not beach body ready. Um, or bikini, what is it? I haven't got the bikini body. Well, I'm gonna put my body in a bikini and then damn, I got one. Um, but yeah, I just think it's best to like, yeah, I don't know, chill out. And I'm just, I'm pissed, I am pissed off with the world for making me feel like this. All I can tell you is I'm going on holiday. I have spent a long time regretting, worrying, panicking, whatever, blah, 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 about all the stuff I haven't done, but it is too late. And I always say it to anyone else who worries in my life. If there's nothing you can do about it, there is literally no point worrying. There is nothing I can do short of popping down Harley Street really quickly and seeing if they can get me in for lipo in the next 20 minutes. Not gonna happen. I'm going on this holiday. And really, when I look back in, I don't know, a couple of years at this amazing summer holiday I have. Am I gonna remember feeling self-conscious? Am I fuck? I'm gonna look at the photos and be like, oh my God, I wish I was there again. And I'll have forgotten all of these feelings that I'm feeling now. So yeah, pardon my language, but fuck it. I'm going on holiday, I'm gonna enjoy it. Haters be damned. Yeah, right, I'm not beach body ready. So fucking what? Who is, right? Who is? Let's be honest, spaghetti bolognese tastes way better than anything could feel. Like, way better. Spag ball is the dog's bollocks. Right, time is ticking. I am conscious, I'm not packing. So I'm gonna go find the rest of my shit and see if we can fit it into my little bag. I've got 32 minutes to spare. So all is going swimmingly well. Um, Go me, go me, whoop, 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 whoop. Don't even know how I did that because I literally had so much time to spare. Like, I was like, woohoo, I'm so early. And then I just sat down. I was like, I'll just sit down for one quick second. And then now I'm 15 minutes late. Why? Why? What is wrong with me? What be wrong with me? I'm at the airport. I made it safe and sound um, in my new car, which was so super fun to drive. And I'm just upset the airport isn't further away. Anyway, parked it, running a tiny bit late as always. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching um, today and for pack packing with me. That really helped. It really cheered me up. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. So if any of you guys do want me to vlog, just comment below or let me know. Get in touch and let me know what you'd like to see more of. And I'm really, really happy to do it or do any issues or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, drop me an email, drop me a message, um, comment below please subscribe it means absolutely the world to me it's so cool you guys are subscribing so thank you so much um and obviously come find us on twitter hit us up i'm at pretty normal me and stuff all right take care and i'll be vlogging about the holiday i guess so um see you later and have a lovely lovely week all right take care guys bye